The Democratic National Committee's computers were hacked months ago and looted of tens of thousands of emails. The Clinton campaign is blaming the theft on Russia. More about that tonight from Juliana Goldman. For a second day, Hillary Clinton's campaign manager, Robbie Mook, accused Russian President Vladimir Putin of meddling in the U.S. election. What the experts said when this breach initially happened at the DNC was that they, they believed that it was Russian state actors who took these emails. Russian state actors were feeding uh, the emails to hackers uh, for the purpose of helping Donald Trump. The experts he's citing include an outside group hired by the DNC to investigate the cyber intrusion, which in June said it identified advanced methods consistent with nation state level capabilities. But neither the Clinton campaign, the White House, nor lawmakers briefed on the hack definitively linked the leak to the Russian government today. Yesterday, Donald Trump's campaign chairman, Paul Manafort, called the accusations absurd. It's pure obfuscation on the part of uh, the Clinton campaign. What they don't want to deal, talk about is what's in those emails. For Clinton's team, a Putin-Trump romance is an easy diversion from the emails, which reopened a rift in the Democratic Party as it tries to present a united front in Philadelphia. And Putin is somebody that people are respecting all over the world now. In terms of leadership, he's getting an A. Putin has also praised Trump, and a number of Trump's advisors have ties to the Kremlin. Manafort advised pro-Russian Ukrainian oligarchs, including former President Viktor Yanukovych, a Putin ally who fled to Russia in 2014 after corruption accusations. From Scott, the FBI announced today that it was investigating the DNC hack and promised to hold accountable those who pose a threat to cyberspace. Juliana Goldman, thanks.